One Man Family, brought to you every weekday night at this time, transcribed by Bactine, the remarkable new family antiseptic and germicide. Another fine, dependable product of Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> between Clifford and Hazel in the library. I talked to Elwood for a moment. He seems terribly excited. You know what? I think he's excited about having his name in the paper. Army dentists don't get much publicity. Did you ever think of that? They hold back on him like secret weapons. Why, Cliff? Okay, I'll have to quit kidding now. He's going to be in the family. Sudden, but there it is. Mm-hmm. So that's how it is with the barbers today. Mothers, have you tried Bactine? Bactine, spelled B-A-C-T-I-N-E, is the ideal family antiseptic made by the makers of Alka-Seltzer. When the children complain of cuts, scratches, scraped knees, or elbows, help prevent infection with Bactine. Bactine is a powerful antiseptic, yet gentle. Bactine does not sting nor burn like harsher antiseptics, does not stain skin or clothing, has a clean, fresh odor. There is nothing exactly like Bactine. Discover its many family and household uses right away. Get a 30 or 70 cent bottle of Bactine from your druggist today. B A C T I N E. Bactine. <laughs> Chapter 7, Book 78. It is after breakfast now in Seacliff, San Francisco. And at the Barber family home, the phone has been ringing steadily. The engagement of Paul's adopted daughter, Teddy, to Elwood Giddings was announced in the newspaper this morning to everyone's surprise. Elwood had thought Henry had kept his secret. But, well, it's out now. And friends and relatives are phoning Teddy with felicitations. I get it, Mom. This one's on me. Mother's over at Jack's house, Cliff. Oh, Hazel, hi. What are you doing over here? I would want an extra copy of the morning paper, so I brought ours over. Oh, uh, now, where'd I get this phone? Hello? Oh, hi, Claude. Yeah, it's official. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very good picture, Teddy, but it's three columns wide. Huh. Oh, well, uh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, uh, Hazel, where'd Teddy go? Well, she and Elwood just went out the back door. Want me to catch her? Claude, she's out in back with Elwood. Okay, I'll tell you your call. Oh, say, Claude, you there? Um, save your copy of the paper, will you? Or clip the article? Yeah, Elwood's got a lot of relatives back in Wisconsin. He wants to send them clipping. <laughs> okay, hi, I will. Bye. Oh, wow, what a morning. This thing's been ringing off the hook. I talked to Elwood for a moment. He seems terribly excited. You know what? I think he's excited about having his name in the paper. Army dentists don't get much publicity. Did you ever think of that? They hold back on him like secret weapons. Why, Cliff. Okay, I'll have to quit kidding now. He's going to be in the family. Sudden, but there it is. He told me right after breakfast. Wanted my copy of the paper for an aunt of his. He's got more relatives than we have. Cliff, you do like him better, don't you? Better than what? Oh, now, now. <laughs> okay, sure. He's all right, Hazel. If Teddy loves him, well, that makes him my dentist. It's going to come in handy when the day comes when I have to get dentures. You, be serious a minute. Yeah. Oh, he's a nice enough guy, but he's kind of left-footed, Hazel. Uh Uh-oh, here's another one. Hello, Seacliff Matrimonial Bureau. (laughs) Oh, hello, Ben. No, no, it's me. It's old Ben at the Skyline. How nice. Teddy, hold everything, Ben. They, They were around a minute ago. Uh, Hazel, will you go tell Teddy's old Ben calling long distance? All right, I think I just saw them down there driving. Yeah, okay. Ben, Hazel's going to get Teddy. Yeah, you read it, did you? Oh, oh, sure, he's a very nice guy. Teddy met him in Germany while she was on hospital duty. No, no, our army. Daddy. Mm-hmm. No, he's discharged now. He's been our house guest. Why, think we marry well, do you? <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute, here's Hazel. Down at the seawall. Ben? Teddy's way down at the seawall with Elwood. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Bye, Ben. He says he ain't worried that he hasn't met Elwood. All the barbers marry well. No, he's no darling. Oh, look here, Cliff. Come here to the window. Imagine what that day view's like when you're seeing it from the seawall with Midwestern eyes and in love. Mm hmm. It's a sparkler of the day, isn't it, Hazel? Well, there they are, climbing up now. What is it about the seawall? People always want to go down there when they're happy or troubled or in love. Well, they've got a little privacy, finally. Maybe that's what Teddy wanted. I'm glad you suggested this, Teddy. It sure is just the morning to come down here to the seawall. Hey, Teddy, look at that boat out there. Oh, golly. Maybe we can have a boat later when my practice gets going. And Elwood. I wanted to learn to sail. What? How in the world did that announcement get in the paper? Oh, I know, Teddy. You guys, the whole thing's kind of a comedy of errors. I, 
guess the reporters just tricked somebody into admitting it. Admitting that we were engaged to me? Yeah. The secret got out before you got here. I, I shouldn't have told anybody, Teddy. I admit that. The way to keep a secret is to keep it. Just whom did you tell, Elwood? And what did you tell them? Huh? Oh, Father Barber. He's the only one, and I pledged him to secrecy. But Mother Barber guessed it, and... Well, I don't know. It just seemed to spread, Teddy. Now, wait. I don't want you thinking that... Well, here's the way it happened. Yes, I'd, I'd like very much to know. Well, I, I dropped in here one day, you see, and while Father Barber and I were out driving, well, he, he was so friendly and all, it just slipped out. So he insisted that I come and stay as a house guest, and we'd keep it a secret. And I thought it was until your picture jumped out at me from that paper this morning. You could have knocked me over with a feather. You hit me rather hard, too, Elwood. <laughs> yeah. Would you tell me, please, Elwood, where you got the notion that you and I were formally engaged to marry? What? Teddy. I've never been so bewildered in all my life. I didn't even know how to act up there in my own home. Not every girl who first learns she's engaged by reading the morning paper. Oh, no. Teddy, just a second. Well, gosh, look, in London, that day we were bicycling in St. James Wood, remember? Don't say you've forgotten that. We talked about getting married and, well, you let me kiss you. What would you call that? I told you you were just the kind of a girl I'd always been looking for. I, I fell engaged right then. Yes, Elwood, but don't you see I... Honey, I, I've waited a long time. I... I'm 35. I don't go around proposing to girls. I never really saw one I wanted to marry until I met you. Well, this kind of hurts me. I, I'm just floored. I, oh, gee. It was all very vague, Elwood. You had no justification for broadcasting it far and wide. I only told one person in confidence. I don't know what to do. My head's spinning, Elwood. Oh, Oh, God, now, Teddy, I, I don't understand you. I, I wouldn't make a mistake about a thing as important as this. Maybe I didn't say, will you please marry me at 10 o'clock next Tuesday morning, and I didn't get your answer in writing, but... But it was all so vague. And we were in Europe, and... You mean, uh, yes, in Europe, there's no in San Francisco? Is that it? I, I didn't say that. Well, you implied it. Oh, look, another time. When we put the bikes on the train out of London... Remember riding past those sheep near the castle? It, it was ringing a little, and, and you were trying out the sound of my name. You kept saying, Elwood Giddings. Elwood Giddings. And I said it would sound nice with Mrs. in front of it. Remember? Oh, Elwood, we were laughing. We were fooling the whole day. I wasn't fooling. I've never been more serious in my life. When a dentist gets married, Teddy, it, it's pretty important what kind of a wife he gets. He can't advertise, and he and his wife have to meet people. Will you stop talking about dentistry? But I, I want you to know how serious it is. I know how serious it is. God, uh, of course, I don't know much about women, but if you didn't encourage me, I, I'm deaf and dumb and blind, Teddy. Why, you're two different people. One Teddy Barber you know in Europe, and there's another one you meet up with in San Francisco. You don't like this one? I love both of you, Teddy. I mean... Well, look at it. Have you got some old boyfriend around here? Or... No, Elwood. I could understand it if you... No, there's nothing like that. Well, that's why we're great for each other, see? You don't know how much... You don't know much about men, and I don't know much about women, and... Well, we can kind of, you know, get acquainted. <laughs> Getting sibling. Oh, now, Teddy, don't cry. If you want to wait a little longer, we'll wait. Uh, gosh, I expected to wait. I, I waited 35 years now. Uh, look, I... I know I've messed it all up, and it's all backward and confused, but... Oh, let's go back up to the house. You mad? Oh, Elwood. Huh? Help me down. Well, look, uh, are we engaged, Teddy, or aren't we? Elwood, don't you see? I don't know. That's why this is all so upsetting. Can't you see that? Well, I... I don't know what to do. I... I don't know what you're trying to tell me in this subtle, feminine way. All, all I know is... You're not the only one that's in a mess. I mailed a lot of clippings to my relatives back in Wisconsin. Air mail, special delivery. So the announcement's going to be out back there, too. But you brought all this on yourself. Well, I didn't even know you were coming to San Francisco before I did. Let alone telling anybody about an engagement. Good heavens. Well, all right, you're sore about that. You've got a reason to be. But all it actually amounted to, I, I deprived you of making the announcement. Now, 
Let's calm down and go back to the beginning and uh, get this thing cleared up. Teddy, I... I gotta know where I stand. <laughs> The Barbers will be back in just a moment. You know, friends, homemakers all over America are discovering that Vaccine is the ideal family antiseptic. That's certainly true, Mr. Barton. You know, I was skeptical at first. I didn't see how any one product could possibly do all the things you said it would do. But when I tried Vaccine, well, I've just never seen anything like it in my life. I could almost say that never a day goes by when we don't have the Vaccine bottle in use. Um, how do you say it? You call it the, um... The handiest bottle in the house? Yes, and Vaccine is certainly that. We use it as an antiseptic on cuts and scratches, and we think there's nothing to equal it. And my husband says he hasn't found anything as effective as Vaccine in relieving the discomfort of athlete's foot. Oh, and another thing. I always give my hands a Vaccine rinse before I start preparing food. I think that's very important. It is, and so are the many other uses you will find for Vaccine, friends. Here is the ideal family antiseptic, and no home should be without it. Try Vaccine and our double your money back guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied, just send the empty bottle back to Miles Laboratories, Elkhart, Indiana, and they will give you double your money back. Get a 30 or 70 cent bottle of Vaccine at any drugstore. That's B A C T I N E, Vaccine. Here are Teddy and Elwood. How could I possibly tell you where you stand when I don't know where I stand? Oh, that's. Rather appalling, isn't it? Well, how can I say what I don't know? I I don't know how to answer you, Teddy. All I know is this puts me in a terrible position. Now I'm just an interloper here. I, I'd better get out. Is hay fever getting you down right now? Do you feel miserable with the cold? Get those bright red tablets in the bright red package at your drugstore. I mean Tabson, T-A-B-C-I-N. Take Tabson quick. Feel better quick. Tabson gives you a dependable antihistamine for the sniffles, the sneezes, the watering and itching of the eyes and nose, but it does more. Tabson also offers fast, effective relief from the headache that so often accompanies hay fever and cold. Yes, for real relief from hay fever and cold misery, take Tabson quick. Feel better quick. T-A-B-C-I-N. Tabson. <laughs> One Man's Family is brought to you every weekday night at this time, transcribed by Miles Laboratories, makers of vaccines. Tomorrow, Chapter 8, Book 78. This is a Cause and E. Morse production, directed by Michael Raffetto. <laughs>